Hi, you're all. <clears throat> Alright, it's Where'd about time! <laughs> Violence and guns and the internet, they mix nicely together. People like to watch people blow shit up, basically. New, uh. New metal. Just uh, start back over there. Alright. <laughs> Uh, F.E.S. Sosha is not a real Russian, that's for sure, he's actually an American. Uh, and he just likes to uh, shoot stuff and blow stuff up. Kitty Wandel started helping me out a lot, getting everything organized as far as a business goes. Uh, not too long after that, I, I met Keith Ratliff. He started helping us because he had tons of contacts in the fire industry. He had a lot of know-how that, uh, that we just didn't have. There was one thing he did with, with Call of Duty Black Ops, I believe two. In the game, they introduced a uh, quadricopter. That's a flying little helicopter. And he was actually showing off how it would play out in real life versus if it was actually in the game. He's become the real Call of Duty, essentially. Fun to kill people in video games? <laughs> uh, no, not necessarily. Uh, the military uses them a lot. They find that uh, soldiers generally pull the trigger much easier if they've grown up playing first person shooters. Whereas in World War II, they had to be yelled at and prodded to pull the trigger. We received a call from 911 that there was a gentleman they thought would have been shot. Uh, and so my uh, officers and investigators would respond to the scene and they observed what they believed was a white male uh, had a gunshot wound. And he was inside his office. Mm -hmm. uh, and at this time, it's still an ongoing case. Me and Keith first met, we were about 13, 14 years old, and uh, we just hit it off from, you know, from the get-go. And here we are at Stax. I guess the last time I was here was the last time me and him were together. Just give me a brisket, mac and cheese, sure. and give me a uh, Diet Mountain Dew drink. Okay. Uh, me and Keith's dads were a lot alike. You know, they, they were men's men. They came from a time when you were either one man or you just gave up. You know, they were from a time when there wasn't all the femininity and the male race and everything else. So, I mean, guns were always part of their life and they passed it on to us. It was just, you know, it was part of day-to-day -day life. You know, I mean, it's, it's just what you do. You get up in the morning, you put your pants on, you put your gun in your holster and you go. Keith's role at uh, FPS Rush as far as having contacts in the uh, firearms industry the flamethrowers, the fully automatic assault weapons, tanks, AA-12s, M16s, things of that type of grade. You know, your average Tom, Dick, and Harry is just not going to get his hands on them. This is the chair that Keith was in. You can kind of see a little, a little blood right there. Keith found me online on MySpace, and we started talking. And we talked for probably two or three months before he ever asked me out. And I was like, I don't know, it's kind of weird. And, you know, because there's pedophiles and creeps and, you know. But he finally talked me into it. And then our first date lasted between 13 and 15 hours. And then, Every day after that was just, we were together. I 
Our first date was June 2nd of 07. We got married November 10th of 07. Separated November 12th of 2009. Why'd you break up? Women. He called me and said, I'm gonna marry her. And a month later, they were separated. Three months later, he was like, we're gonna get married again. <laughs> I said, well, you gotta get divorced first. <laughs> so. <sighs> this isn't supposed to happen like this. It was on January the 4th, I got a phone call from Keith's sister, Corey, my oldest daughter. I told us they found Keith dead. What do you think killed Keith? Keith is a big conspiracy theorist. And I do think the government does do dirty stuff. But at the same time, I don't think this was government related, to be honest with you. I think this was, I don't even think it was money related or money driven. We're going to uh, Kyle's dad's place. He has a big spread. He's a chicken farmer. And this land is where Kyle got famous. It's where he filmed his videos with the explosions. Why didn't Kyle want to sit down with us? Because you're really invasive and you spammed us and you wouldn't go away. And there are 50, 60 of you every week that contact us. And you think like this is a normal thing to sit down and talk about because you're after an entertainment piece. But for us, it's a reality. We lost one of our team. We were on the brink of getting really, really big and our world tumbled down on us. And for you, that's entertainment and for us, that's fear of not knowing who the hell did that. It's fear of not knowing if it was someone who just didn't like FPS Russia and it wasn't personal to Keith. Um, and, you know, we had so much planned. We were going to do so much with Keith. And someone took that from us. Someone took Keith from us. And we don't know why. As far as why he was killed, you know, who's to say? Um, I loved Keith. Keith was my buddy. Keith had been my friend for a couple of years. We traveled the country together. Um, so it's hard for me to say, oh, yeah, this person or that person, you know. We, everybody's got enemies, I suppose, people who don't care for the way they do things, you know. He had a, he had a rocky personal life with women. Um, you know, I know he'd had some trouble in business in the past, but 
nothing that would bring something like this, you know, at least we wouldn't think so. So no idea. It's uh, no idea. Um, what was the second part of the question? What was it like to lose a friend? Oh, it was awful, you know. The guy was young. You know, he's not much older than I am. You don't expect to lose somebody who's in your age group, really. Uh, you know, you prepare yourself for losing your elders, you know. You prepare yourself for losing people who are in bad health, but that wasn't Keith. So when we lost him, it was, it was a shock to the system, you know. And it's been almost two years now, and... I guess it has sunk in now, but still, uh, when I go to places that we went together, when I see a car like he drove, it's kind of like it hasn't sunk in all the way yet, so it's shitty, 